despite all of the controversy, despite all of the talk about the story being demolished, despite all of the talk that the fans were mad and they hate The Last of Us 2, it has broken more records. And man, oh man, those fanboys are mad. <laughs> Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor before we get into this one. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all. Straight up, y'all know the deal. Y'all know the reason, and y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. Y'all see it on the screen, courtesy of IGN. Let's just get into the story and get into my thoughts. The Last of Us Part 2 is the fastest selling, the fastest selling PlayStation 4 exclusive ever. The article continues to read, The Last of Us Part 2 sold over 4 million copies in three days. Oh my God. Why? Why can't my console do that? Why? You know, I, I just got to pour out a little liquor for the for the fanboys, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that's trying to hate on this the best way they can man I, I see a collaborative effort man y'all get you a hey, you get an a for effort out there but it just ain't working pippin it just ain't working let's get into the story like i said the last of us part two has officially sold over four million copies as of june 21st 2020 making it the fastest selling playstation 4 exclusive ever Senior Vice President of PlayStation Worldwide Marketing at SIE, Eric Limpel, took the PlayStation blog to reveal the milestone, all by confirming that The Last of Us Part II has surpassed Marvel's Spider-Man as, as Sony's fastest selling exclusive for the PlayStation 4 in its first three days. Um, Neil Druckmann, Vice President of Naughty Dog and Director of The Last of Us Part II, also shared a message with fans of the post-apocalyptic game we called, and as they call it, uh, IGN, that is, a masterpiece. Piece. All right. For more on The Last of Us Part 2, which is also the fast selling box PlayStation 4 game in the UK, read Druckmann's comments on how there are no plans for the DLC for The Last of Us Part 2. IGN also says you can check out the 14 brilliant details in the sequel to the 2013 classics they have there on the site. So here's the thing, y'all. <laughs> the fanboys are mad. They're hot. I mean, because I, I, I had to give a kudos to them, a round of applause. We had to give them a round of applause, standing ovations for they're showing random bugs here and there in the game. They're showing that the, the game is being review bombed on Metacritic for, for crying out loud. I've even had in in chats of that had on other platforms that had nothing to do with The Last of Us 2. I've had people even say that there were review copies showing up on shelf. I mean, not review, but return copies. So many used copies of The Last of Us 2 showing up on shelves. That's just indicative of people hating the game and the game is doing bad. I, I say all that to say this. Here, here's the thing, and this is, and, and, and understand, this is not coming from a PlayStation fanboy at the least. I'm not the biggest fan of PlayStation games. I'm not. I like God of War and I'm intrigued because I'm only about six hours into The Last of Us. I'm intrigued by The Last of Us. But I'm 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 enjoying how in and intrigued it, it, it it's making me feel right now as, as a gamer. Now, with that being said, me being intrigued is an awesome thing for the simple fact that no game this generation has really intrigued me that much. I mean, this has been, this has been like a cookie cutter, polygon and compute unit generation where there's only like maybe a few games that I think it was really worth the time. And, you know, not a lot of stellar titles like we've seen in generations past. And even though if you don't like the story, even if you don't like the gameplay so much at the very least again i'm gonna say it like a broken record it garners your interest and i think that it's gonna get a lot better in my current review so far of the game i, I give it an eight 
I'm 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 yearning for more action and from what I understand it's coming it's right around the corner but everything else that I'm playing so far is cool and you know the atmospherics of it is solid but back to the fanboys I don't get why y'all are so mad if you and a lot of it is coming from you know I didn't want to name names but I, I won't but there's a lot of fanboys that believe that their console of choice is going to go through a serious renaissance that they're really going to buck it up and really you know shake things up next generation and you know what that may be the case that may be true but if you truly and wholeheartedly believe that in your heart of hearts then why are you hating on a game that for all intents and purposes is you know intriguing at the very least in stellar to many widespread there was no doubt that this game was going to have wide-reaching ramifications wide-reaching ramifications that you hope that your box will at least halfway meet next generation the simple fact that you're hating on this title so badly and despite all of that all of the data proves that you're wasting your time the fact that even though you're wasting your time, you continue to do this at nauseum, just shows that you really truly don't believe that y'all gonna skyrocket next gen. You can't. Because if you did, if you had that confidence of a gamer, you would just enjoy this title or say it's really not my bag and you would move on. But I see so many people that have not touched this game have so much to say about it. I don't understand it. But if you're Neil Druckmann, you're not screaming into a pop filter like MM2K. You're just simply saying thank you. Why? Because once again, thanks to the lunkheads out there in the community with all of the talk, all of the chitter chatter, and all of the attention that you're bringing to this game, once again, The Last of Us Part Two is the fastest selling PlayStation 4 exclusive ever. Period. That's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, the Stadium Dosage. And with all that being said, Hi, haters! <laughs> I'm gonna go back to playing this game and enjoying what I can and give you my final marks once I'm done. For the rest of y'all, y'all still have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.